good afternoon ladies and gentlemen I'm on my way home to get my car sorted because I've got to um, uh, looking at the skies because it says chance of rain less than 10% so because Tony's on the road it's raining Oh, it's raining again. It hasn't rained all morning as soon as I get out. And those clouds look terrible. Please don't rain on me. I've only just dried out. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going. The, um, oh, stop. The plan of today is I've got to go straight down to Alfords and pick up my car battery, which I didn't even check to see if it's been delivered, so I haven't got a clue. And then I can go home and fix the car. But if I can't get the battery in the rucksack, which I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to then go home and I've got to fix the, I'll get the car jump started and take the car instead. Don't, don't. Oh yeah, there's another thing. I just set out from work and I was going up the road and I took my hand off the throttle and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. It kept accelerating and I really shit myself. And I found out that I'd switched the bloody thing into cruise, I don't know, and I'd not even noticed. I'd actually switched the cruise on here rather than the, uh, uh, yeah, the power switch. Oh dear. Make sure everything's still here. Everything's recording. I can smell cannabis. God, it's everywhere. I don't know why they don't legalise cannabis. I mean, it is near enough legal now anyway. I'll go around here. And then I'll go around here. I'm on a bloody mission today. I really am on a mission. Because I really do want to get home as quick as I possibly can because of this rain. Potential rain. Oh, look at them clouds, man. <laughs> it's a good job I've got a sense of humour. The other day I was um, I was out on this thing and I was thinking I can smell cannabis again. I wasn't thinking that. Uh, I was out on this the other day and I was thinking how the hell I could make it any better than it is at the minute. And I don't don't know how I've done it, but I've made it perfect. I, I can't. I don't think I could improve on the design of anything. And that's a first for me. And I've got a car behind me. Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh, the police. Luckily, it's nice and warm this afternoon. Uh, but. <laughs> You know those needs must in a crisis and stuff like that? Oh no. Anybody who's ridden a motorbike and done 40 miles an hour when you've got something like about a 20 mile an hour headwind and it's raining will know exactly what I feel like with an open face helmet of how bloody painful it is. It doesn't sting a bit. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I don't want to bank too hard because the roads are wet and they're probably still greasy from the sun. I've got this car behind me still. I'm going to pull up and let it bloody past. Oh shit. Hey, what's the name of that bike? It's mine. Is it one you've built? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a one, I want one myself. Have a look for Vortex on YouTube. Yeah. It's V-O-R-T-E-C-K-S. You'll see my videos, mate. I did the complete build series on it. Okay. Um, and do you build them or is that, is that just a one-off? 
it's a one off. I'm building version 3 with double the power. Oh, right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's just random things like that make my day. <laughs> the good thing about logging my journey, which my phone's in my pocket, and I'm hoping it's just going to get GPS because it didn't do this morning. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, the logs. The good thing about logs, um, because I've, oh, what am I talking about? Because I'm now logging all the journeys and everything, um, I can go home and I can look at the map and I can see where I've been and I can possibly work out any alternatives like shortcuts and shit. I oh God almighty, I can't even talk to that. I'm trying to concentrate too much on the bloody road. Anyway, I want to talk a bit about torque arms. Um, as you know, I had a bit of a bit of a problem because mine nearly routed itself out. I was taking the bike, uh, I was tipping it upside down so as I could clean it and I noticed that the motor, you can see what an angle it's at now with those flats. It was actually at that angle with the dropouts and it was at, <laughs> it was being held on by virtually nothing. This is my torque arm which goes on the other side and look at that. It's actually managed to route the torque arm. So it's quite a bit of play in it. So what I've got is, I've got my other ones that I've got from faster bikes, which there's virtually no play in those. I've got to try and hold a torch and a camcorder so all my hands are filled up, all both of them. <laughs> I'm going to try and show you what I've done, if I can hold that there. How the bloody hell do you hold these? Oh. The torque arm is there and it goes up there. Now what I've done is I've put a bolt through it because in here, this, this piece here, there actually there's cutouts inside. So I've put that in there. I've put this clamp crudely around it for the time being until I get some proper... Um, what are they now? Stainless clamps. And obviously that's holding all that together. That's squeezed nicely up against there. That is not going to go anywhere unless it rips the back end of the uh, the dropouts off, which is doubtful. I've done one on either side. Can I show you the other side? No, not really. Hey ho. But that's what I've done. Um I've also splayed it out about another two or three, no, two mil, three mil, two mil on either side, four mil. Um, and I've got more clearance on the disc now. And I only had one, and that I can't remember which side that was on actually. In actual fact, I need to make sure these bloody clamps are still here. Yep. Yep, clamps are still there. So these torque arms, um, I was only using one, but now I'm using two, one on either side to try and um, try and spread the load a bit. And fingers crossed, it's going to bloody work this time. I should have known. I mean, pumping. I, I don't know what the maximum is about 15 kilowatts. Pumping 15 kilowatts through. A little arm like that. Yeah. You know someone's gotta give. I know I've said this before and I'll say it times many is at every opportunity make sure that you've got a car that can shield you from all these arseholes on the road. You see I've got this arsehole right behind me who wants to get past. 
so I'm using this focus in front of me to shield me from anybody turning in front of me and I know I've got another car up my arse here so I'll use him no I'll use this golf here yeah when you can at every opportunity you should use cars to shield you uh, like here bloody uber drivers I hate uber drivers don't know why so I'll use this car here to shield me from traffic coming from my right like that so you know damn well they're not gonna hit, no one's gonna hit you I think I need to get spring shocks not air shocks I really do think I need to uh, swap these out cannabis my bars ain't straight why ain't my bars straight how's that happened I thought it was my cycle honest that ain't straight it's not it's my bloody bars oh yeah I dropped it I dropped the bike on my bloody foot believe it or not when I was turning it over to get the to do the torque arms um, I can't explain it but I dropped it on my foot and I didn't have anything on my feet oh god that was painful I didn't cry when you're on an electric bike and you're doing the traffic speed always beware that people are always trying to number one kill you and number two at any cost trying to get past you so I've got this bloke behind me here which you'll see in the GoPro who is sitting over the right hand side of the road and I know damn well what he wants to do he just wants to get past me and the trouble with these people is whatever the cost they'll still they'll try and get past you because you're on an electric bike you see look there was no need for you to bloody pull over like that Oh, so and I've got him on the left hand side who's just starting to inch up a bit because he wants to get past me I've got 69.6 volts I've used 6 ampere hours of battery so I really don't think you're gonna be able to catch me okay I'll tell you that before you even set off that's for nothing the next one will charge you <laughs> yep, they try, they can never do it. What the hell's going on here? What the hell was that about? the car facing the wrong way then how weird oh yeah I went on a date um, which was going it was going really well actually uh, until we met um, yeah there was a few things that I said that I really shouldn't have done and a few things that I did that I really shouldn't have done uh, there was one of them I'll tell you now because it's funny it bloody wasn't at the time I knew she was a cat lover and I knew she got cats but I didn't know how many and I knew she just had a, had a brand new cat a little kitten no I didn't say the, the, the obvious thing that you're thinking I said to her so how many cats have you got? and she says oh well I was, I was sitting in the living room uh, the other day now I know she lives in a three story building and the living room's in the middle of the building well, I was sitting in the I was sitting in the living room the other day, and then she says, "As I saw a cat coming flying past the window, it fallen out the it fallen out the bedroom," and I immediately cracked up laughing. And what I didn't know was that the cat had actually impaled itself on the fence and died instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got a coat. <laughs> I've never seen her since. <laughs> it's not funny about the cat, it was just the way. 
It was just the way it came out. <laughs> oh, it's not funny. Stop laughing, Tony. Dickhead. I'm an animal lover. I do. I love animals. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything to hurt an animal. But there's things like that that oh, bumpy bump. There's things like that that only Tony can say. Nobody else would ever do anything like that and laugh at it. You know, I've seen cats fall out of loads of windows and they've just landed on all fours and run away and they've been fine. Only Tony can say things like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discuss something that's a bit controversial at the minute. Um, there was recently somebody killed... It was crossing a road, it looks like it was at a, at a pelican crossing, like a pedestrian crossing, uh, killed by an electric bike. I mean, that is tragic, absolutely tragic. It's tragic for the person that was killed, it's not tragic for the stupid arsehole that actually caused cause of the death because he just rode off he just disappeared now I'm constantly scanning the road for, for pedestrians and everybody Ugh. all the dangers all the time and if you take your eyes off the road if you're just distracted for a second that's that's the end of it you've got to be alert all the time you can't have a leisurely ride at any point it doesn't matter what you're doing it doesn't matter what the traffic's like it doesn't matter how fast the traffic's going you cannot stop concentrating. I mean, everybody says, you know, it's all free and it's all fantastic, and it's not really. Because, because of how alert you have to be. Cannabis again. God, it's everywhere. Just legalise it, for God's sake. Make everyone's life a lot better. See, this, this is the worst. The worst part of my journey is because of the traffic. And because I refuse to actually overtake any cars here. Ooh, bit of a wobble. Need to learn to balance. Yeah, because of the speed of the traffic around here, but because of the, the pedestrians in this area, I won't overtake anybody purely because somebody could be miles away, not thinking about anything. Oh, look. We stock helium. Oh dear, coppers. I start pedalling. Because there's coppers. Don't you bloody hell he was going to go then. Oh, that was close. Come on, come on. I'm going to go around you. Because you're doing my head in. Oh, he really does want to get past me now, look. Really does want to get past. You ain't going to do it, mate. You might as well just back off. Looks like this road's going to be um, closed in the near future and this is a bloody big... Is it a bump? Yeah, it's not bad. And some people just can't stand it when a push bike undertakes or overtakes them. Don't know why. <laughs> I would. I'd be so pissed off. Anyway, folks, I'm nearly home, but I'm not. I've got to go to Cannock. I've got to go to Alfred's. So... Oh, this bloke's been an arsehole, he is way too close. I'll catch you next time. I don't know how many more journeys I'm going to be able to make on this because the weather's going to be getting a lot colder, a lot more windier, and a lot more rainier. So the weather is looking quite bad. Hey ho, I don't care. Yeah, I do. Version 3 is going to be waterproof. Absolutely. It's just the squidgy grey matter that's on top that's going to be a bit soaking. Oh shit, that was a big hole. Why is he so close up my chuff? Anyway, folks, again, I'll catch you next time when I'm out on my travels or trying to get my bloody car fixed. And remember, life is definitely worth living and not just for existing on this measly earth. Get out there and do what you want to do and enjoy every bloody second of it like I am.